What's up YouTube? The God of Food is back with another ranked one on the channel boys. This week probably my worst week yes. I got ranked one on my main account. I got a DC I think on my 17th game but I'm not a pro player by any means but I do boost accounts for Xbox. I've got like customers, they give me their accounts, I get them rank 1, rank 2, rank 3 per request obviously. But like I don't know what's going on with the servers. I got like five DCs on one of the accounts. He wanted 16, I ended up getting him 15. EA, please, it's doing my head in. It's doing my head in. But the servers were stable again, so I started playing again tonight. I got 16, obviously, I got a DC on the 17. On my last three games, I was constantly fearing a DC. It either happens right at the beginning of the game, so at kickoff, or when the game finishes, you press advance, Boom, done. You don't get a dub. I don't know, man. It was so, like, this week, my most stressful week yet in FIFA. Rank 1 rewards. I think my cousin got rank 6 or 5. I'm not sure. Well, it's the same done. We got him uh, Red Pick Son last week, if you remember. Uh, we've got Hero Picks, probably. And I'd like to give you some tips and tricks on how to improve your game on old gen. So yeah, stay tuned for that one as well. Oof, lads, subscribe. Like the video because this week was just horrendous. It, it really does make a difference for me. Uh, your support has been unreal. Love you all. Alright, come on, let's get it. Who do I want realistically? So I'm not expecting anything tradable to be honest, but... From the picks, I hope to get someone big. I really do hope so. This is the team I'm using at the moment, by the way. I've purchased him and him and obviously Carlos. And Hinkopy is so good. He is insanely good. I've used a lot of defenders, but he has to be one of my favorites. If you have him, don't sleep on it. Use him. You're gonna, you're gonna love this card to bits. But I'm obviously talking old gen. New gen, I have no idea. But old gen, what a card that was. And this guy that we got from rank 1 last week on my main account. He was unreal. He was absolutely crazy. My main man, Havertz, doing bits as well. I'm obviously using Sonaldo as my CM. Which I really enjoy, by the way. Anyways, about the team. Who do I want? Alright, Freem Point would be a dream card to get because I've got his team of the air. But I don't think that's gonna happen though, is it? Freem Point, Harry Kane. Maybe if I pack him, I sell Ginola. But he doesn't fit the criteria of the players that I enjoy all gen. Because he doesn't have a skill move. I like his skill moves. I, I can't stand cards without skill moves. That is my problem. And Weirds would be good i think what is he five five yeah yeah absolutely mental i'm got i'd use him cm though no he's got insane stats so even striker i think with that finishing nice he's got normal finesse at the moment lads finesse plus is metal gen i'm uh, telling you this for the eighth time probably Finesse Plus is Metal Lads or even Silver, but you have to have one of these finesses. It really does make a difference. All right, he's got Power Shot Plus, which is nerfed, obviously. First Touch Plus, technical. He's more of a, you know, left forward, right forward, CM champ kind of player, in my opinion. I can't really use him, Striker. Um, I don't really care for Royce, to be honest. He's got good play stars, he's got 5-4 obviously, but he's got a good card. Why is he so cheap? Nice. I'll take Royce. Okay, I really want to get Grimaldo. This is the card I want. This is the card I need the most. Please, yeah, give me Grimaldo. He'd be unreal. Goretzka obviously a huge dub, but I got... Um, Howards of God Rotary. 
So I don't really need Goretzka. He wouldn't make my team, honestly. Musiala would be a dream card to get as well because I really enjoy his card in general. Even though... Oh my god, look at that dribbling, bro. Even though... Yeah, I'm gonna use him up front for sure with that dribbling and technical plus. Trickster plus, bro, are you kidding me? This play style is all gem meta. I really want this card as well. Corbell, well, nobody cares. Davis, again, dream card to get. I need a left back. I could really use a left back and high medium as well. I prefer Grimaldo, if I'm being honest. Upa Meccano, he looks insane. Wow, what a card. If I get him, I'm going to replace a Konji with Upa Meccano. Sancho of use this week, he's okay, but I don't care. Very cheap. Who else? Who else have we got? Um, no, no, no. Yeah, this card is meta as well, I've had. Yeah, so... I'll be happy with him as well. Who no, don't really care. I think that's about it, isn't it? I think that's about it. The rest are kind of questionable. <sighs> don't forget to smash the like button. Lads, subscribe if you haven't. Love you. This is for you. Come on. One of them big boys. Give me three point Grimaldo. Don't give me any attackers. Just give me them two. Come on, number one. Ah, well, what did I expect? What did I expect? Should I go Kobel? I think he's gonna be in auto picks as well. I go Tar. One good pool. All I'm asking, lads. One decent pool. But no. No, no, no. It's not gonna happen, is it? Please, EA. Save me. Oh, my days. To go through all of that that I did tell you about and get these, quite painful. Quite painful. I'm doing it only for the content, by the way. I'm doing it only for the content, but it's painful. It's just painful. My cousin's account, I guarantee, I already know it's going to be so much better. So much better. How could it be worse? How could it possibly be worse? Ah, <sighs> It's not going to be any... What's with my tradable bags? Oh, I was saved. <laughs> Come on, though. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We get Davis tradable, lads. What is it with my tradable pack like this year? I don't get the cards I want on tradable. I think it's well deserved. Come on. Hopefully you pack something decent as well. Ah, thank God. Thank God. Like, look at the state of this pack. Tap Sobo, Cobal. Like, this pack could have been so bad. But Davis saves the day, obviously. 5-4. Should I keep? Should I sell? I don't have anybody good from... Bundesliga if I'm being honest with you so I think keeping would be a mistake because I bought Golasso Carlos which I think why did I quick sell by the way whatever anyways I think Golasso Carlos fits my team bad because I need the chemistry so I'm not gonna use him if he was untradeable I would have made some changes but I don't think it's worth it at the moment I don't know I really want to use him though. I do want to use him. I wish I had, I got something 
untradeable as well, but you can't have it all. I take that, I am happy. Oof. Come on. Come on. Can we get blue? No. It's so hard to pack a blue this way. I don't know why. It's so hard. Who should I? No, wall counts are cheap, so I might as well. Yeah, I'm gonna use them in the picks. Why not? Why not, lads? Come on, come on. Tradable. Come on, Otevoyajara. Oh, it's not a double two, it's obviously. Can we get someone half decent? Imagine. Is Cristiano out? I haven't seen the team. I haven't seen his card. But no, we can't. Kowalowski. Alright, do we have to do that again? Probably. Probably. Alright. Lads, if I'm not mistaken, I think we've got a squad bar rewards. Elite 3, I think. I'm gonna open the pack. I think you get a red pick, right? So yeah, let's switch to that account, open the red pick pack, and then we switch to rank 5. Come on! Okay, where is the pack? Where is the pack? So what can we get from this? Is it... It's not even the uh, main team. It's unreal. EA... You... Oh my god! Di Maria! What's going on with my padlock? You know, always nag. Always nag, it works. Honestly, I think it works. So my rank one red picks were all garbage. All bad. We opened a single player red pick pack from, uh, what's this called? A squad pass and we get the Maria. I think he's like 1.5. This is a very rare card to get as well. Wow. I'm gonna use him, you know. This is my brother's account. Cam, right thing you see is CF. Oh, questionable finishing, but I don't think it matters because he's got finesse plus. Trickster, technical. Oh my god. What is this card? Oof, meta. He is meta. Oh, what do we have? We've got Hero Pig. Nice. Good lad. Good lad. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna start off with the hero pick. I don't know if they're good or bad. They are bad. They are bad. <sighs> I go coach. I go coach. Why not? The picks though, if it's better than mine, I'm gonna be sad. I'll be honest, I'm gonna be sad. Please, EA. Yeah, typical. Alright. <laughs> Come on! Rank 5. What is with the uh, picks this week? Premier League was so much better. This is just painful to see. Cobalt and Tar? Hmm, we got M9 there, but not the most exciting, you know? He gets a Totes. Totes. Oh my god. I thought it's Musiala for a second. <laughs> okay, so, lads. This is a very weird state for old gen. Like, the gameplay isn't balanced at all. It's horrendous, if I'm being honest with you, but it feels nice. It's enjoyable because it's familiar, if it makes sense. A lot of people don't enjoy new gen gameplay, like myself. I don't like too much AI control on my defenders or on my opponent's defenders, which I think is the case, old gen, new gen, sorry. And old gen, you have that sense of, sort of like, um, in old gen, you have a manual defense and you've got, you know, better left stick dribbling, 
better skills in general. Tip number one would be to find the best costume tactics possible because, lads, I I play 4-3-2-1, 4-2-1-3, 4-3-2-1, well, this is my uh, pressing style uh, formation. When, I, when I'm, you know, behind, I want to trail back. 4-1-2-1-2 narrow, I don't really use it as often as I did before, but sometimes I switch based on my opponent's uh, formation. So you need to remember that you need different formations because this year formations do really counter each other. So you have to kind of know, have enough information about different formations to, to counter them. And for example, let me get my instructions here. You really, you could really get help from your right back, left back. So on this formation, obviously, I am using Frimpong on balance and then Carlos on stay back. But when I need to, I use the D-pad, obviously, to, to get my left back, right back to move forward a bit more. And that's how I create more space. But you need to be careful with counter attacks because the meta or gen is lob through balls we all know that so you have to be careful with that use offside trap or you have to manually run backwards otherwise you're gonna be caught by them counters in a matter of seconds man there was this opponent let me show you look at this game all the way 80 second minutes i'm trailing 4-2 i don't know how i was playing so well I don't know how he scored, he scored some dodgy goals as well. My internet was so bad, you can see it's lagging. And like, I was frustrated, I was shouting, I was smashing things in my bedroom. And like, oh my god, I don't know how I turn it around to get rank 1, honestly. Like, 86 minutes, 4-2 behind. You need to remember that, you don't have to always, um, what do you call it, rage quit. Just give it time, just try your best. It's not impossible to win games that when you are trailing two, three goals behind. I swear to God, there have been so many times I was winning like four nil. I, I, my opponent drew or like um, I was losing like five two. I ended up winning like eight two. I got lucky, yeah, I'm not gonna cap. I got very lucky by that tackle. But again, mentality, bro. Look at this. Easy peasy, 4-3. Most people would think this is over. And there is no chance for me to score, but just watch. Just have to press, press. And like this guy, props. He wasn't a rat at all. He could have wasted time obviously he should have if he wanted to dub but he didn't composure is key here like Havertz obviously technical plus and boom come on for all for all like at this moment my heart was pounding like the adrenaline rush was crazy lads like I was trying so hard to focus but the internet was bad honestly it was horrendous i kept lagging i always had the fear of you know getting a dc at the end like it all you know makes you crazy honestly but you know if we got the dub at the end i'm happy but you need to be careful you know a lot of people like to attack you know rapidly they like to um just abuse you know, they like to have used, you know, overlap balls, which I don't think is always necessary. You can, you know, uh, attack using short passes, using skills, using left stick dribbling. Most people that I've uh, helped my friends I'm in, or some of the viewers, subscribers, or whatever, we've got this channel on Telegram. I help out some people from time to time. They, they rush things, you know, they just look at one chance and see boom it's all about that composure it's about finding the right angle it's about you know waiting creating space you just don't have to always move forwards to score goals 
You can pass around. Create space using passes. I like what a win that was. What a win that was. This win here got me rank one, lads. Unbelievable sins. Unbelievable. Come on, we take that. Focus on your game style. Whether you're good at crosses, whether you, you're good at skilling, whether you're good at long shots, you know, combination is key here because at the moment crosses are so OP on Jan. Lob through balls, long balls, you know, uh, well, through balls in general, they are all, oh my god, they do my head in. I play, you know, high depths as well. So, if you are not a type of guy who keeps position, who likes to abuse those other things that I mentioned, use lower depths. Why not? Use comeback on defense on more of your players. So in that case, with LBRB, you can you know call them to come towards you or away from you for them through balls. This is how you get more wins, lads. Focus on your on what you're good at and focus on what you're bad at at the same time like trickster plus that this is what i'm talking about trickster in general for example or gen this is meta learn how to use it it's very easy it's just with the press of your right stick you know you can i'm not saying abuse it but from time to time you know might as well use this as a skill in the game and score from bicycle kicks. And for me, Finesse Plus is bread and butter. This is my favorite play style at the moment. And then for my CMs, you know, Incisive Pass, Pink Pass Plus. This play style is so good. I'm in love with it. Long ball pass. Tiki Taka, these are all very good, these four. Not this one for, you know, CMs, I don't really care, but probably use CMs who've got these four. They do really make a difference. Obviously, if they've got, you know, Finesse Plus, oh my God, so OP, like Hammer here. So OP, he's got Finesse Plus, he's got Technical Plus, he's got Ping Pass Plus, as well as Long Ball. Oh my god, this card, if you haven't done this card, you're crazy. I'm telling you, you're crazy. You missed out on one of the best C uh, species of the game. The other thing I like to talk about is to divide your games, lads. You don't have to play 20 games at one go. If you had a bad game, if you had a DC, if you had bad connection or whatever, drop the game, go play something else. I play Rainbow Six. Yes, I play. Like, whenever the game gets on my nerve, I switch my game. I go to play R6 because it matters to me. I, I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, it's a game, blah, blah. I know how mad you're going to get if you get a DC or a loss, you know, consecutive losses, obviously. So, might as well, or just go read something, watch a film or do your homework or like, do your job or whatever. Just get out of that you know, mental state. Don't play back to back if you're not having a good day. Just drop the game, come back. I guarantee you're gonna get more wins. And always play play a game of rivals or might as well play, you know, cup, Bundesliga cup or whatever. It does really help you, I guarantee. I don't know if I've covered a lot of the things I wanted to mention, but you know, basically that. Don't forget to use your left back, right back more efficiently in the game. Don't forget to use play styles effectively. Like the cards I purchased, Ginola. I purchased Ginola because he's got Trevella Plus. Uh, I had his uh, Centurion card, but I've got his uh, Triple Threat. Sorry, not Centurion. But this card with Trevella Plus does really make a difference because when I'm one-on-one -on -one with the keepers, my other Ginola would miss a lot of the chances, but LT shot through Vela Plus gets turned on and instant goal. Honestly, it does really make a difference. Don't slip on this. Use cards that got play star pluses for attackers, obviously. 
they do make difference i guarantee okay it's been your boy boys sorry that if it's got boring towards the end i love you all don't forget to smash the love buttons i'll see you soon